Welcome back gamers. Today, we're reviewing Marvel vs. Capcom 3. How did this game stack up? Well, let's take a look. This is the long-awaited third installment in the Marvel vs. Capcom franchise. And in this title, they pull out all the stops. This is a fighting game that I quickly enjoyed. With three fighters fighting on each side, it makes this unique brawler very unique and very enjoyable to play. The controls in this game are smooth, and the response time is fantastic. And being able to call on your other two teammates for help during the battle is a nice touch. Now as we know with every fighting game out there, the roster of fighters is critical. And Capcom I think did a great job at picking a diverse set of characters. Of course, one surprise for me was seeing Arthur from the Ghost and Goblins game. Yep, the underpants tonight is back for more action. And there's even a Ghost and Goblins fighting arena. In this area, you'll be able to spot all kinds of references from the original game that just makes this level something special for classic gamers. Ah, Arthur, we meet again! <laughs> How'd he get in there? But aside from Arthur, you'll have tons of other cool characters to choose from. Some are the obvious heavy hitters, like Wolverine, Tron, and Magneto. While some characters I couldn't do absolutely nothing with, like Storm. Ugh, what a waste of time. I was also surprised to see X-23 make it into this game since she's relatively new to the Marvel Universe. But she does pack one hell of a punch. You go, girl. Of course, the one thing I'd like to nitpick is the choice of characters in the Marvel roster. Super Scroll, Dormammu, She-Hulk. Are these guys really that much in demand? I just really can't foresee a lot of gamers just jumping at the chance to play She-Hulk. It would have been nice to have others like Cyclops, Apocalypse, or Ghost Rider instead. And if they're looking for more female fighters, what about Invisible Woman? Alright gamers, now we're going to look into some spoilers. And if you don't want the game ruined for you, you might want to click away now. Now one thing that really came as a surprise was the ending boss being none other than Big Bad Galactus himself. The power cosmic itself! Frickin' sweet. But be warned that he'll beat your ass without even breaking a sweat. So make sure you choose your fighters wisely. Win the battle, and you'll get to see one of the multiple endings for each character. Lose the battle, and he'll destroy the world. Wow, that's some heavy shit. Continue. Okay, now let's talk about unlockable characters. So far I've been able to unlock only four, but there are still spaces left on the roster screen, so I think the odds are pretty good that there are more characters lurking in the shadows. So far on the Capcom side, I've unlocked Akuma and Heisen Ko, who has some very nice attacks. The best unlockable character I've found so far though, has to be the Sentinel on the Marvel side. Talk about awesome. This guy can kick some major ass. Wow, 33 hit combo? Nice! The other Marvel character I unlocked is Taskmaster, and I have no idea who this guy is. Again, I have to say I'm baffled as to why we get these obscure characters when there are others like the Silver Surfer and Human Torch that would have appealed to a wider audience.
So now, what's the final verdict on this game? Well, if you like fighting games, then you're gonna love this one. And there are enough bells and whistles for you to find that will keep you coming back for more. So until next time, gamers, game on! MCs like all oh, you kid in the Cadillac where I rock my music with an attitude poor and ruthless all in the hood baby acting stupid boy you're useless I keep greener than vodka I lay them on they back to the clock it's time oh yeah you wanna fight that line up it's like Terminator looking for Okana it's not for minors it's only for the pros oh no hit them high hey, yo doc hit them low I can smell beef when I walk through the dough that's why I carry the K like I'm solo yeah bro you want problems I get to you and run back to Tell your block what I did to you. Put your ear to it and get stumped out. Street fighter boy, nobody pull guns out. Let's get it.